Welcome to our course, of Advanced Steel 2019, for designing and detailing of steel buildings. This time, we bring you a step-by-step -step course, for the designing and detailing of small to medium-sized buildings. During this course, we'll approach not just how to design and detail, a structural project such as this, but how to work with the main Advanced Steel's tools. As an example, we'll learn how to work with the Advanced Steel's editing tools, so we can perform multiple adjustments throughout the structure with ease. Since each of these tools, will offer not just editing possibilities, but ways of further detail or structure. In this area for instance, we can see multiple choices for adjusting, or even improving the design of the connections. From the addition of plates and stiffeners, to bolts. And in reality, a myriad of tools that will permit us to fully design our structure. For instance in this next area, we'll find multiple tools, for performing specific types of adjustments across the section and profile of a given component in the structure. Since of course, not always all assemblies will be perfect by default. And thus, we may need to perform certain adjustments, for achieving a correct assembly of the several columns and beams integrating the structure. And so, during this course, and as one of the subjects covered, we'll focus on working with these tools, so you achieve a professional level of expertise. And once this has been achieved, we'll cover another very important subject, in relation to the management of the detail drawings of our structure. For this purpose, we'll begin by having a closer look at the Drawing Style Manager. And which as you may assume, will permit us to manage the multiple drawings of our structure with ease. Namely, that as this project has been developed, we'll obtain multiple drawings for clearly displaying each detail of the structure. From the design of the foundations, including the anchors and footings, to the details of the stairs. Now following this tool, and for also managing these drawings with ease, we'll take a closer look at the document manager. Being that this tool, and as we can see, will permit us to navigate through the multiple detail drawings in our project. And in addition, allowing for the integration of multiple views inside one single drawing. As an example, in this particular drawing, we can see multiple views for showing each detail of this beam. Moreover, we can obtain the same level of detail, for displaying the design of a given connection. Or even for a specific part of this, such as that of the haunch which forms part of this particular connection. And so, along with this, and other tools, we'll make emphasis on obtaining multiple views and the subsequent detail drawings, of each of the parts composing the structure. And in which we'll display each of the dimensions, descriptions, labels and so on. Now, and how is that these views will be arranged inside a given drawing, could be defined through the Drawing Style Manager. Since it's through this tool, that we could determine the arrangement of the views for specific parts in our structure. As an example, here we can see the arrangement of the views considered for the detail drawings of the columns. Namely, that we could determine specifically what views should form part of the detail drawings of this particular type of components. And so, it's through this particular tool, that we could have complete control on how's that each of the detail views and parts displayed in them, will be arranged. Furthermore it'll be through this same tool, that we could obtain detailed, and properly organized drawings of the structure, from a set of predefined templates. And which again, will display all the proper descriptions, labels, sections and dimensions. And once we've obtained this information, we'll continue with the generation of the bill of materials for this structure. Or what could refer to the quantification of the structure. And in which we can obtain, not just the exact number of parts used in the structure, but their details, in regards of the units and sections being considered for each of them. And so, how to obtain this lists of the multiple parts and assemblies in the structure, is one of the subjects covered during this course and which along with these other tools, will permit us to produce all the needed information for fabricating this structure in the shop. But now paying attention to the model of the structure, we will also focus on obtaining all the details regarding the design of the connections. To begin with, the design of each of these connections, should be properly checked in relation to the present forces and stresses. Namely, 
that beyond approaching the simple design of the connections, we'll make sure that this gets properly checked, before the internal forces and stresses present in the structure. Or specifically, the bending moment, shear and axial force, present at the node of the connection. For this purpose, or for obtaining the precise values of these forces, we'll also cover the integration of advanced steel, with robot structural analysis professional. Meaning, that in order to determine if a proposed design is correct, we will also take care of the analysis of the connection, and its surrounding members. Thus obtaining the proper values of the bending moment, shear and axial force. And with these forces in place, we could then perform the integrity check of the connection, within advanced steel. Being that this integrity check, will regard the specified design code. And thus, and through this particular mechanism, make sure that the design proposed for the connections, actually complies with the needed design code, and safety coefficients. Since and again, each of these designs, will be properly analyzed through robot structural analysis professional, for obtaining the proper values of the bending moment, shear and axial force. And so, during this course, we'll make sure that whatever structure you need to develop, presents an efficient and safe design. Thus complying with the needed design code, and resultant safety coefficients. So, all these aspects, will be widely covered in this step-by-step -step course, of Advanced Steel 2019, for designing and detailing of steel buildings. Moreover, and through our support center, you'll count with the assistance of experts while you study and practice, so you can apply your new skills to your own projects without limits. See you soon.